this is my first ever headline stadium show. I just find that whenever I'm on a British Airways flight, I always watch someone's concert film and it always, like, I, I was never really a fan of Justin Bieber and then I watched Never Say Never and it made sense. So I was like, oh, oh, I get it now. So uh, I wanted to make a film that I could put on British Airways flights and have Chinese businessmen like my music. I wasn't too nervous about the recording of the show. I was nervous about the show because there were so many people there, but I, I wasn't too nervous about the recording of the show because we did three nights there. So I was like, I know if we mess up something tonight, we can do it tomorrow. And I know if we mess up that, then we can do it the next day. Um, so whenever I messed up a song, I was always like, okay, tomorrow I'll make sure that that little bit I get perfect and then they can cut in between. 40,000 people. I'm not too critical of myself watching performances soon after but i think if i watch it back in a year i'll be pretty pretty, pretty critical like whenever i i look back on like performances i did in like 2011 2012 i'll be like oh god that's not very good but i think with the wembley film because it was only around just a couple of months ago i won't be too critical but in a year i definitely will be i have a weird thing whenever i do a big gig um if I'm hungover, it always goes better because I'll overachieve. I want to do more to make sure, I, you know, I'm putting in effort. So um, I was like, I was very hungover all three nights. I always made sure I went out before um, each one. And um, yeah, it just, it, put, it puts a little bit of added pressure onto it. And um, just, I, I don't know, it always makes it better for me. Um, I know that's a weird thing, but yeah, that, so I wasn't so much emotional as I was hungover.